Hi, everybody. This is Carissa Kingsbury again from Kirk County High School. I have Glenda Jansen here. She's the education chairman for PEO Chapter AD, and we're going to be talking about that PEO Chapter AD scholarship today. So, Glenda, go ahead and you can start letting us know a little bit about this scholarship. Okay. Well, background, PEO is a philanthropic organization whose purpose is to promote educational opportunities for women. Um, we currently offer a local scholarship for high school graduates uh, in Crook County, uh, but actually we offer a broad spectrum of scholarships for women returning to school after, say, they got married, started their families. Now they're going to go back to school. Um, we have state scholarships, we have international scholarships, continuing education, scholarships specifically for PhD studies, uh, international studies. But what I focus on today are our high school scholarships. And we raise money all year long in order to fund these. Gonna be a little tougher this year with the COVID thing because we can't do our fundraisers, but we're, we're budgeted and we hope to provide a thousand dollar scholarship. Um, in the past several years, we've been able to offer three. So, you know, there's a good opportunity here. Uh, the qualifications, they have to be female, a resident of Crook County for the last two years of high school, and be a member of the current graduating class and receive an accredited high school diploma uh, by June 30th of the current year. Uh, minimum 2.5 GPA and in need of financial assistance. Um, I think uh, the application forms are online through the high school. Yes, they are. So on our scholarship page, again, that is on the Crook County High School website. You go to the counseling tab of the right hand side, scholarships, and then you'll see PEO Chapter AD scholarship. Okay, well, it's a very basic, simple form. Uh, that asks for personal information about you, your family, um, activities, work experience, those kinds of things. And there is one page for a financial statement so that we know what your expectations are from family contributions or what you work to earn, um, if you've received other scholarships. It's just pretty basic. And then we ask that you fill out, write a personal essay uh, about your education and career goals, experiences that have influenced you where you are. Uh, one photograph so that we know who we're talking to. Uh, two letters of recommendation, one from someone in the educational system uh, and one from a personal source, say a pastor or a work person who knows your work ethic. Um, and those recommendations should address your scholarship, your leadership, social responsibility, uh, potential for future service, um, and a current official high school transcript. Uh, is pretty much the same basic stuff that everybody asks for. Uh, I do ask that you really take a, an effort with that personal essay because that's where we find out about you mm -hmm. uh, and what's important to you, your adaptability, uh, how you cope with things. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it tells us a lot about you. And well, and it's really a great time for them, even if they, you know, they don't feel, you know, their GPA reflects them perfectly, or, you know, if they've had a significant thing that's really helped them determine what they want to do. Um, that's like a great way for you guys to really understand who they are and, you know, yes. see a picture about them. It, it's wonderful. And normally, under normal circumstances, we meet in person with the applicants. Mm -hmm. um, Last year, because of COVID, we couldn't do that. And so I asked the girls to each sit down and tape record themselves uh, or make a YouTube video, actually it's old technology here, uh, of themselves answering uh, a set of like eight or nine questions that we had submitted to them. And I was so amazed, so blown away by how efficiently this generation of students adapts to these and does such a wonderful job. I just cream of the crop. You Crook County is putting out really good students. Oh, so. Definitely showing the creativity side on that, you know, like yes. figuring out how to do it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It was tougher for us 
old ladies who don't do this. We had to figure out how to watch all of them. <laughs> oh, well, hey, we, we made it there, right? <laughs> we did. With it, you know, found a way to make it work. <laughs> it's a growing experience. And now we have Zoom meetings. <laughs> yes, we do. And that's another awesome way. I know it's, that's part of it. You know, it's hard. It's, you know, meeting the students and understanding. And I feel like that's why, you know, you want to try to give even more in your essays. And then hopefully, you know, when, if you do the same type of video or whatever it is later on, I think that'd be a great opportunity, you know, really show who you are, um, yeah. these ladies, because they want to help you out. Yeah. That's awesome. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell, what we yeah. do, why we exist. Yeah. So Glenda, what would you say are um, some of the main tips you have for them or common mistakes you've seen for students to try to avoid when they're applying? Um, oftentimes we get applications that are not signed. Um, one of our biggest frustrations is they will submit an application that's not complete. It doesn't have the letters of recommendation. You have to have those letters of recommendation uh, and a transcript. We have to have a transcript so we know where you're going with school. Yes. And that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that that is um, one of the, those are the most common mistakes. That's the hard thing is, you know, when when students are filling out so many, and again, you guys, if you want help, please reach out to me or your careers teacher or your um, AVID teacher. We want to help you because it's really easy to mix up one of those things, and that would be a horrible thing for you to miss out on money yes. for school just because you didn't sign your name or because you didn't get a transcript in there or you thought you did and have me review it before you turn it in. If you're going to you know, give it to them yourselves, make sure I review it first. Yeah. So we can kind of get an idea because... Uh, yes we can't change it once it's in, you know, we ought to make sure it's good to go beforehand. Yeah, and one thing, be really careful when you choose someone to write your, your recommendation, because we oftentimes get the same person at the school who's been asked by five or six different people to write a letter. They just use a boilerplate, and all they do is change the names, and we look at those and go, eh, not even going to yeah. think about it. So, yeah. Find someone who will write a personal, personal letter of recommendation for you that speaks to your qualifications. Yeah, and students, make sure you give your teachers enough time. A lot of the times, if they're doing that, sometimes it is just because you're letting them know two days ahead of time and they don't have time to really learn. Or you're not giving them like your brag sheet or your activity sheet that shows them like what you've accomplished because they might have known you all four years and know you very well, but they might not know some of those specific details. They might be like, yes, uh, so and so did 4 H many years are super involved in the community. But if you give them that kind of information, they can actually really detail it and it yeah. makes you more set apart from the others. So yeah. definitely giving enough time, you know, talking to those teachers, seeing if they have time, all of that is really important. That is a great point. Yep. Yes. Yes. Well, Glenda, um, I think that that was awesome. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us a little more information about uh, the PEO Chapter AD scholarship. And, um, you know, obviously we talked about this. So if you are watching and you are not a Kirk County High School senior and you are a female who is trying to further your education, please talk to me or at the end of this um, video when I have the contact information, please reach out to um, one of these amazing um, ladies at the PEO Chapter AD who want to help you guys fund your yep. education. We love giving money away. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I would hope people love taking it, <laughs> you know, to be able to do that. It's it's a great thing to not have to worry about debt or um, at least having less debt and, you know, yeah. It's really not that hard. A lot of the criteria you have and the requirements that you have are things that students should be doing for many other scholarships, like you said. So it's a great opportunity to get some yeah. money. And someone once said in one of our other videos that I loved, it's the most money per hour that you're probably ever going to make um, if you put in the effort for it and get it. <laughs> so I thought that was great. But yeah. Glenda, thanks so much for joining. And thank you, Carissa. Thank you. Yes, of course.